Good morning, and welcome to our morning prayer service on this September 7th. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of our, your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to hear his voice. Psalm 101 I will sing of loyalty and of justice to you, O Lord, I will sing. I will study the way that is blameless. When shall I attain it? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is base. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. Perseverance of heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. One who secretly slanders a neighbor I will destroy. A haughty look and an arrogant heart I will not tolerate. I will look with favor on the faithful in the land, so that they may live with me. Whoever walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall remain in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue in my presence. Morning by morning, I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When people began to multiply on the face of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that they were fair, and they took wives for themselves of all that they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in mortals forever, for they are flesh. Their days shall be one hundred twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward. When the sons of God went into the daughters of humans, who bore children to them, these were the heroes that were of old, warriors of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of humans was great in the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the hearts was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made humans on earth, and it grieved him to his heart. The Word of the Lord. The Song of Simeon Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom the world you have prepared for all the world to see, 
a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to John. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Mm -hmm. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd, does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf snatches them and scatters them the hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for sheep i am the good shepherd i know my own and my own know me just as the father knows me and i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep i have other sheep that do not belong to this fold i must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, has a demon, he has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, these are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? The word of the Lord. In our text, Jesus tells us that as the good shepherd, he would lay down his life for his sheep. For you and me, who have come to personally be known by him with all our strengths and faults, that we might be the forgiving grace of God. We're personally known by God, even in the world in which we tend to be known only by our numbers. We're intimately known with all our faults, shortcomings, which could tend to isolate us from one another, but we're also loved and forgiven. The Good Shepherd has laid down his life for us, that we might know God's redeeming grace. Therefore, let's pray that God's Spirit inspires us to strive to live our lives and witness to who are as children of God and reflect his love to those around us. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. 
Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for this morning. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Peace O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A Collect for Grace Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning we're asking and praying for strength and healing, or especially for O.T., Allison, Roy, Roberta, Amber, Stephen, Tom, Joyce, Lillian, John, Margaret, John, Les, Bob, Crystal, Terrence, Phyllis, Mimi, Debbie, Rick, and Eddie. And I invite you to own, add your own prayers and intercessions. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.